A story's been floating around for Nintendo over the last 24 hours that's really making Nintendo look like a bad guy. And we need to talk about it because it's possible Nintendo, of America specifically, is making some very poor business decisions. But that's not really what may be happening. It's, it's a very funny situation. So you've probably seen headlines around that Nintendo is refusing to let the thousand year door be sold physically online. And I just want to note when you see those headlines, it's actually an outright lie. That is not what is happening. It's actually two specific retailers and only here in the United States. Now, one of those retailers is Amazon. And while there hasn't really been anything said publicly in some big report, Amazon is actually not currently listing brand new anything from Nintendo. And it's not just specific to Thousand Year Door. What appears to be happening, and this is just according to some online forums that I've read, is that Amazon and Nintendo are in a current ongoing dispute about various behind the scenes mechanics of Amazon and selling Nintendo products, whether it's the cut that Amazon is supposed to get from selling Nintendo games or whatever the case might be. Obviously, Amazon being the largest online retailer, especially here in the US, it's very unfortunate to see that, hey, uh, you can't actually guarantee uh, certain things for each company. That It, it kind of sucks for consumers to have those two budding heads. Obviously, by the time Nintendo ends up releasing a brand new platform, we hope everything is sorted out by then and things are being sold again on Amazon because one thing Amazon has that's different than everywhere else, it's one of the few places you can pre-order a game or a console and not pay for it until it's time for that thing to ship. And it's not even that bad of a deal because if you can't pay for it after a couple of days, it'll cancel your order. And if there's to high demand, it'll just get sold to somebody else. So it's not a bad system, and maybe that's the system Nintendo has disputes with. Maybe they want all the money up front. I don't know, uh, but that's not the way Amazon functions, and they're not going to change the entire way their site functions for that. Again, we this is all speculation. We don't really know what the issues are between Amazon and Nintendo, only that they exist. So we want to take the Amazon situation and set that aside as its own little thing because this is a known situation. It's been going on for months, and it's not specifically about the thousand-year door. But now we have this Walmart situation, and this is the one I find interesting because Walmart has had these agreements with Nintendo and others all throughout the generation of Switch, where on day one, if you walk into a store, you can get Nintendo Switch games, brand new games just released that day for cheaper than you can buy them online and at other retailers. $10 off, as an example. Every game is $50, $49.99, not $59.99. Tears of the Kingdom was $59.99, not $69.99, only in-store physical copies. And that was a pretty neat agreement for... Gamers that knew or lived near a Walmart and took advantage of that, it was pretty cool. It didn't apply to pre-orders. It was only for you know walking into the store and grabbing a day one, which is a risky proposition for certain games that could get sold out. Still, it was nice, and it was nice to see that Walmart and Nintendo were working together. And it seemed like everything was all hunky-dory until recently. Walmart in the United States, and I specify just the U.S., has canceled all Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, physical pre-orders, not the digital ones, but the physical pre-orders online. And what is the reason for this? Well, Walmart is blaming Nintendo. Let's go ahead and take a look at this screenshot of one of the emails Walmart sent out. So this one in particular went to this Adam guy and it says, we're sorry, your Nintendo pre-order is canceled. Hi, Adam. We know you were looking forward to purchasing Paper Mario, the thousand year door Nintendo Switch online. At this time, Nintendo will only be offering this item in stores. While your pre-order was canceled, we expect to have this item in stores on its release date, May 23rd, 2024. We hope you can stop in. We apologize for this change and would like to give you a $25 off your next online order is what the rest of that email says. We've seen other images of this email going around to other people who had it canceled. Now, this led people to go, well, it specifically says Nintendo is only going to offer. So Walmart's sort of placing the blame at Nintendo's feet. And this led to headlines being like, well, it's not at Amazon, it's not at Walmart, Nintendo's removing it from everywhere. And I just wanna let you know right now, that is not true. In fact, today, Target has already started shipping some of their physical pre-orders that people ordered online out to people. So 
Down below, we'll give links to other retail options online because I realize there are some of you that live in very rural areas that don't have one of these major retailers near to even walk in and get a physical copy. So we will provide links down below for Best Buy, Target, and others. If you use our Best Buy one in particular, we actually get a small kickback to the channel. You don't have to use it. It's an affiliate link. It's wild to me. And and, and for starters, before I move on, I want to know what, what do you guys think about this situation where there's this dispute with Amazon and now there's seemingly a dispute with Walmart. Now, the crazy thing with the Walmart one is they're still making it available in stores. So Nintendo's not yanking all the copies from Walmart. They're just saying, hey, you can't sell this online, at least according to Walmart. And some people are under the impression that maybe Walmart is trying to place the blame at Nintendo's feet when it could have been their own. Maybe Walmart didn't order enough copies and they made an executive decision that, hey, we're only going to put it out in stores. We're not going to sell it online and we'll just blame Nintendo because Nintendo will only be offering or you just didn't order enough. That could be what this entire thing is. And that could explain why Walmart's offering a $25 discount on the next order because it ended up being Walmart's internal mistake not Nintendo's, but this is something we don't know. The email specifically says at this time, Nintendo will only, Nintendo will only be offering this item in stores, which is not the case for all retail. As I said, you can buy it online at Best Buy. You can buy it online at Target right here in the US. Walmart, uh, Canada has no problem selling them online. Walmart UK, Walmart in other countries has no problem. This is specifically an American issue with two major retail outlets online. So the Amazon one is a long ongoing dispute that we just hope to see a resolution at some point before the next system comes out. It's just really unfortunate. No new Nintendo games are going up there officially. You might see resellers, but officially from Nintendo being listed there. But this is just an unfortunate series of events. And I'm very curious what you guys think can be done about this. Uh, clearly, there's a lot of budding heads happening lately with Nintendo of America in particular, because these issues aren't existing in any other country. And I don't know if this is because Doug Bowser is being a bit of a stickler, trying to maximize profits, and maybe he's under pressure because retail Retailers are taking too big of a cut from games and he's trying to like sort all that out behind the scenes. I have no idea. If that is the case though, I think that that is just really crappy. Nintendo already sells 50% or more of all of their games digitally where they make significantly higher profit margins. So if Amazon wants an extra couple bucks per game, if Walmart online wants an extra couple bucks per game, just let them have it. Now the Walmart situation again is weird because they're still selling at Walmart physically in person. They're just not doing it online. So is it actually Nintendo's fault in that situation or is it actually Walmart's fault? I don't know if we're ever going to know. Uh, I guess Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, if that ends up getting delisted by Walmart and people get their stuff refunded there, we'll then know that Nintendo has probably made a fuss about the online order situation at Walmart because this wouldn't be something that just applies to a single game if Nintendo's yanking their ability to sell games online. It would apply to all future brand new games. So the Walmart thing, we should have sorted out in about a month. Uh, the Amazon one, that's just going to take a while. And these sort of contract disputes are common. Uh, one thing you know to note is that Nintendo of America in particular is very big sticklers with contract disputes. If you want to know why we don't have Netflix on Nintendo Switch, it's literally due to contract disputes. Reggie fils when he was president, pointed the finger at Netflix. Netflix pointed the finger right back at Reggie fils uh, it, It's a very interesting situation where you do have to have contracts with all these different retail outlets, all these different services, and no one can seem to agree on where the money should be cut and how the split should be done. How much goes to Nintendo if someone subscribes to Netflix through a Switch? Like, that's the way they watch. They, they literally paid for it through Nintendo's account system. How much of that money goes to Nintendo and how much goes to Netflix? There's probably a big dispute there, and that's why Netflix isn't on Switch. I would like to see some of this cleaned up, and I was hoping when Doug Bowser took over that maybe it could reset uh, some of the negotiations, but it only appears to have gotten a little bit worse. And I don't really know who to be mad at because we don't know the particulars of these negotiations behind the scenes. We just know that in the end, us consumers are the ones suffering. We're the ones that, hey, might have to watch Netflix through a different device. You know, And you might go, well, why does Netflix matter? Everyone's got smart TVs. Some of those smart TVs suck. 
Uh, some of those cheap ones are really bad. So yeah, you'll rather use a console or something to watch Netflix through. It's actually really, really popular to do so. And now you're saying, oh, now we're more limited in where we can buy things online, which by the way, only helps scalpers raise prices even more, knowing there's fewer retailers to actually buy physical products at. And again, my concern is if this ends up leaking over into Switch 2 or Amazon can't sell Switch 2, Walmart can't sell Switch 2, that would end up being really, really hard on the consumer base here in the United States. It's it's just so weird. It's so US specific. Clearly, there's something going on with Nintendo of America button heads with some of these companies. And the funny thing is, all of these companies involved are billion dollar businesses. So why they can't get this sorted out for the benefit of consumers is beyond me because one thing that's a negative for all of them involved, you don't carry the products, you don't sell the products, all of you make less money. <laughs> so kind of a weird thing going on here. Anyways, let me know what you think about this all down in the comments below. The story I think is probably done evolving at this point unless we get some corporate statements from both sides, which will probably be just a bunch of nothing or it might turn out like Netflix and Nintendo back in the day where they just point at each other and we don't really know what the hell is going on. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.